Welcome to yet another informatics solution for TIPCO Spotfire video. Today, I will be showing you how to leverage technical Spotfire elements and capabilities through supply chain related advanced features. First of all, when creating a visualization, we must keep in mind that our aim is to achieve clarity for complexity. Let me present you three supply chain solutions extending the map chart capabilities of TIPCO Spotfire. First, a multi-tier supply chain visibility example where the aim is to geographically locate upstream and downstream elements of the supply chain and analyze relationships and risk factors. Next, we will look at a supply zone visual helping businesses to optimize lead times and transportation processes. Finally, we will talk you through flow simulation scenarios examples, useful to anticipate and be ready to respond to plausible situations. By the end of this video, you should understand how much business value these advanced Spotfire map solution can provide simply through clear visuals focusing on actionable insights. But first things first, why would we use spatial analysis or maps in analytics? Well, it is an easier and more natural way to capture and visualize spatial data or information. Also, a picture can replace many words, in our case, numbers. Since a supply chain is all about locations, positions and connections, its structure requires a meaningful spatial plotting. Consequently, the map visual will help us detect the relationships between the various measures such as demand and inventory levels, variables we will use further in our examples, and link them to spatial positioning within the supply chain structure. Without a map, or this type of visualization, answers would be much trickier to dig out. Let me show you the technicalities of these use cases and walk you through my solutions one by one. This multi-tier supply chain visibility solution is in fact the digital model of our supply chain. The aim is to provide an overview picture of a supply chain structure. This visualization is not only showing the midstream part of the supply chain such as facilities, plants, owned housing, but also present information about the upstream part, our suppliers. We can also see the downstream segments, such as retailers' details, sources, distribution centers, and so on. The upstream information, that is the suppliers, is organized in tiers. In our example, this plant here has two direct suppliers from Denver and from Dallas, called Tier 1 suppliers, who themselves have their own suppliers, called Tier 2 suppliers, for example here, Houston and El Paso. Since this template gives us a full overview of our supply chain structure, we have the possibility to display different measures. We choose, for example, to visualize days of supply. This is an inventory level measure. Our template then displays the inventory levels for all locations using simple color coding. Green locations have a sufficient inventory level, red ones have a low inventory level. This way, we can easily identify locations with poor performance. So this type of visualization enables us to analyze spatial relationships between locations and measures. But what else can we do? We can color territories behind our supply chain that are associated with different natural risks, such as flood or tornado probabilities, by using historical data. The high-risk locations can thus be pinpointed and we might find that it is in our interest to substitute given suppliers. On this tab, we have two charts. On the day of supply per location chart, we have a simple order list of locations in terms of days of supply levels to keep the key measures in mind during our analysis. Here, we have the days of supply histogram. Let's select the upstream level. On the x-axis, we have the bins of days of supply, that is, the different days of supply bands. For example, between 7 and 9 days of supply, we can see on the y-axis how many locations we have in the supply chain. In this example, we have 4. This histogram shows that there is only one supplier with too high inventory level and two suppliers with too low inventory levels. The point here is to provide an overall picture of your supply chain structure and of the different risk factors and measures associated with it. The second custom solution I am showing you visualizes supply zones. Our map chart here focuses on three distinct distribution centers. 
The colouring is based on the distance from the closest distribution centre. We use the different US territories, effectively the zip code areas, as the basic unit. In our example, we can see that we have three sender points and 11 destinations. For instance, the zones coloured in green are less than 230 miles away from the closest distribution centre. This visualisation enables us to identify those locations close enough to the distribution centres and which can be reached within six hours. Turning this into business terms is easy. These destinations have reasonably low transport costs. The colouring can be changed according to various parameters, such as for example cost or lead time. Now they are simply coloured by distance in miles. The defining values can be easily modified manually using the sliders on the right hand side here. This solution also features an overview location histogram. It indicates the number of target destinations we have in each zone. Our third example is a predictive analytical solution. This model facilitates shorter decision making as a result of the simulation of product flow and inventory level within our supply chain. On the left, our model shows the base scenario of the flow of our imaginary supply chain, from plant 1 to the retail stores. You can see plant 1, plant 2, warehouses, distribution centres and retail stores referred here in the legend. On the right hand side map, we have the same supply chain structure, but here we can choose from two different business scenarios, a high demand scenario and a low demand scenario. To illustrate, we choose the high demand scenario. We are currently visualising the week 1 period selected here at the top of our page. The colouring of the markers is based on the days of supply. Green markers represent the locations where the days of supply or inventory level is optimal, in our example between 3 and 10 days. If the inventory level is too high, that is higher than 10 days, it is coloured in purple. Following the same logic, if the inventory level is lower than 1 day of supply, it is too low and coloured in red. In essence, with this simulation we are able to forecast for the next five weeks the effects of a high or low demand cases on our supply chain. By analysing these predictions we can plan our transportation and production activities. Let me choose the two-week forecast. Do you notice the gap between the basic and the high demand scenarios? Note that demand, transportation and production figures are random variables, just as they would be in a real-life example. Moving into the three weeks forecast, we find some warning signs. Here the purple marker surrounded by the reddish warning sign at the bottom indicates that the inventory level at this location is too high. The reddish warning signs here indicate that this location's inventory is too low, because there is less than one day of supply. These warning signs also flag that the gap is too big between the values of the high demand scenario days of supply and the values of the base scenario days of supply. In addition, this page features an overview chart showing the number of locations in each day's of supply band. And of course, we can continue the simulation for the four weeks and five weeks in period in the same way. So with initial assumptions and our random variables, we can obtain early warning that if our demand is higher than expected, that is higher than in the base scenario, there might be some complications at given locations. Obviously, it works the same way for low demand scenarios where here too you can see a number of purple warnings, which are the locations where the inventory is too high due to low demand. In a nutshell, this supply chain flow simulation enables us to anticipate possible scenarios with self-serve analytics and act in time. All in all, my objective with this video was to explain and show how easy it is to get actionable insights with clear visualizations and how valuable advanced spot fire maps are to decision makers working in supply chain. If you have any questions related to these informatic solutions, you can contact us at anx.informatics.net. Thank you for your attention.